Bob, are you there? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, super. Uh, so you've got a problem with searches. Um, what what seems to be the problem? Uh, well, I'm just um, I don't seem to be finding any usable information. I uh, whenever I um, I'm kind of figuring out the, the key words. Uh, you know, when you, when you look through like. Uh, if, if I go through and look through karate instructor or something, you know, that'll be the blue the word highlighted, but it, it'll all be uh, just uh, business advertisements. I'm, I'm not finding any individual. I got it. I got it. Okay. So here you're 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 on here, and like a lot of people, you, you, how do I how do I find people? And and there there are lots of ways to do it, and probably the most um, one of the most effective ways is, is to find people based on mutual interests, mutual values, and that keyword search, which is what you're, which you're, which is what you're having a problem with is, is, is not hard to figure out. Okay. Uh, some words will work. We're dealing with a, a precise, we're dealing with a computer. Okay. And, and the computer over here, you can see if we spelt Mary with an I, her, she wouldn't come up. If we, if we eliminated the space between Mary and Arnold, she wouldn't come up. Everything is, is uh, you know, has to match, okay? Now, um, there are lots of ways for you to find people. And once you develop your own unique searches, okay, then you're going to just do them over and over and over and over. So um, you want to find people, you're looking to build your network marketing business, right? And you want people that are ambitious. You want people that are entrepreneurial. You want people that really want, maybe, maybe you even want people that are more ambitious than you. Because if you can help them become successful, you know, or lots of people like that. People really want to be successful. Um, helping them, you know, helps you. So now the question is, well, how do you find those people? And when you start searching, you want to avoid literally getting, having time, having this whole process suck up your time. Okay. <laughs> because it can't. Uh, um, is that another problem? You know, you spent, you feel like you're spending too much time looking for people. Oh, absolutely. And and I, I have friended some people, and the friends are friends. Man, they must all be looking for dates. I'm not. I'm not getting the right people. Anymore. Right. Right. Well, listen, you're a good. I understand. <clears throat> and you know, listen, you're a good-looking man. I love. You know, maybe it's the hat. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's the hat. But <laughs> all right. So. But, but that, you know, that almost comes with the territory a little bit, you know. Um, you open yourself up to the world. Um, but you can identify who these people are. And they're pretty much a click away. Okay? Um, uh, Max? Yeah. Can I ask a question? Sure. Now, what I'm seeing here is... Okay, you're on my web on my uh, page. I'm on your page. Most visited, get starting, Margo B, customized links, all that stuff. I never see that on my page. Oh, oh, that's because that's because that's my page. <laughs> you're, okay. You're 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 on my you're on my computer, and I have no idea what some of these things are. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. But now, okay. So here here's what you want to do. All right. You're in a company. Uh, okay, let's take a look at you personally, all right? You've got, what type of professional would you feel the most comfortable talking to about your company? You're looking for a business builder. Uh, a fitness instructor. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, let, let's, let's take a fitness instructor, okay? Now, um, are you a fitness instructor? No, no, I'm, I'm a fitness junkie, if you will. Okay, all right. So here's what we want to do. Uh, we're going to come over here to your profile, all right? And we're going to 
edit this just a little bit, okay? We want to talk to fitness instructors. We're going to add something to this. Fitness enthusiast. And we might have to give something up. Fitness enthusiast, successful entrepreneur, uh, horse trainer, riding coach, loving husband, father, Not, we lose we lose the grandkids. Okay, the things we have to give up. Okay, now you're a fitness enthusiast, so we're going to come up here and we're going to look for people that we could look for people that are also fitness enthusiasts, or more important than that, we could look for people who are in the fitness world. And hey, why wouldn't they want to connect with you? You're <laughs> Besides the cowboy hat, you're a fitness enthusiast. They can see it right on your page. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can start posting things that would be appealing to a fitness enthusiast, okay? So we're going to go over to, um, we're going to go over here and we're going to go to Google Images. And we're going to, uh, let's do a motivational uh, quotes for fitness, okay? And for fitness goals. Okay. And we're going to take and we can, let's take this one here. Oh, I like this one. How do you like this one? Fitness is like a marriage. You can't cheat on it and expect it to work. You like that one? That'll work, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to, well, ah. Uh, What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to click on it. Um, let, me, let me hit the back button. Yep. Oh. Okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to save this image on my computer. And I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to call it fitness. Okay, now, now that it's saved on my computer, I'm going to go back over to your page and I'm going to upload it here. And now all your friends are going to see this, but more important than that, any new friend that you send a friend request to is going to see it too. So think of these broadcasts that you're doing. Think of these posts that you're doing. They're not just for your existing friends. They are for your, uh, the new friends that you're looking to make. And, uh, oh, come on. Um, all right, we have to wait for that. Or maybe we can, yep, we gotta wait for that. Um, so, now, when it comes to looking for people, I'm gonna, I got too many things going on here, let me, um, now, so what we're going to do is we're going to post that and now we're going to go in and we're going to do some keyword searches and, uh, if this thing doesn't come up really soon, what I'm going to do is, okay, something came up. Okay. So, okay. Now we're going to upload, upload videos and then I'm going over to my desktop. 
and I'm going to scroll down and it should be the last thing I put up here by day or it may come up alphabetically under fitness. And here it is, came up under fitness. <clears throat> so we're gonna pop this over. We don't have to say anything, just post it. Okay, now, all of your friends are gonna see this. Anybody that's looking at your page is gonna see this. Why would somebody that is interested in fitness want to talk to you? Okay, let's look at your cover for just a second. This is terrific. It's been up there for a while and maybe we should think on changing it, but let's do a search. So first we're gonna do all your searches on fit. Oh, Max, Max I, I've considered changing that, just you know, your, uh, your one plan. Uh, if you would go through it, that'd be fine, because mechanically, I, I, I don't know the sequence. I'm okay, having trouble. no, that's okay. I think that, that it doesn't stay. I got it, I got it. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to repeat the same thing, only I did it fast. I'll, I'll, I'll do it a little slower this time. Okay, okay so we want to find a picture up there that, uh, something really, something that'll grab you. And uh, we also want to do it uh, so that it, it kind of gives people a, a better pers idea of, man, who is this guy? Who is this guy? So, all right, we've got a picture. This is, this is Tahiti. And uh, let's say we want to put a different cover up from a different place. Where, where would be your favorite place to spend uh, a week with your family? Where? No, ex no expenses paid. All expenses paid. I don't know. Hawaii would be kind of cool. Okay, Hawaii, let's, let, let's go with Hawaii. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back up here over Google Images. And we're going to do a search for Hawaii. Um, uh, Lewis, I did not forget. I did not forget. Uh, I, I haven't done it yet. It's on my list. Okay. So now these are these are pictures of Hawaii, but uh, and these are really beautiful. This one is a little bit more um, visible. I mean, it, it kind of lets everybody know. Let, let, let's just click on this and see what comes up. Okay, now, um, so this is, you know, most of the time you get, you see a picture of, you know, Diamond Head, that's what everybody recognizes. Um, in fact, look over here on the, on the right, you have, <laughs> you got all kinds of pictures of Diamond Head. So you could start with this and uh, you could look at this, let's look at this one, or we could look at this one a little closer. I mean, these are... These are amazing, amazing pictures. And can you start with a big one and then go back in a couple of days and- Oh, and sure, well, yeah, yeah, for sure. In fact, as a matter of fact, what you could do, it's kind of, uh, you know, interesting, would be, um, we, we started over here. Uh, where did we start? Ah, oh, here it is. We started over here. Now, you know, for me personally, because uh, I've been, I can't tell you how many times I've been to Hawaii, but one of my most memorable trips to Hawaii, I stayed at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, and I had the I had the penthouse, and oh, oh my God! But what you could do is you start here, and then you're kind of working your way up the beach, and which is what's happening here. Um, but what I would probably do is I wouldn't I would not I'd pick maybe one picture of Hawaii, and then keep it up for maybe two weeks, and instead of putting up another well, it depends on where you wanted a prospect, but I would pick a different place. I, I would go from Hawaii and um, bum, bum, bum. let's let's just take because um, I've seen better pictures than this 
of, um, oh, this is kind of interesting. This, they reversed it. Um, but let's see. Okay, let's just take this one here. Now, same thing. We're going to right click. We're going to save the image. We're going to take that image and we're going to save it on your computer. And you always just want to pay attention as to where it's being saved. So typically you look up at the top and it'll tell you it's on your desktop. Okay? It's on your desktop. So now we're going to come down here and we're going to call it um, Hawaii. And we'll put a couple of numbers after it because what happens is you're going to have, a, you, can get, you, can, you can literally collect a bunch of these. You could do four or five of them at the same time. Now that, you've got, now that you've got it saved on your desktop, okay, we come back over here and we say, all right, we're going to upload a picture. Now, that may be too small for a cover. So we're going to open this up. We're going to upload a picture. We're back at our desktop. And now we've got to scroll down to the bottom, which is it either comes up by date or alphabetically. And let's see. Okay, we got it right here. So we, we click on that. And as I said, the number was, it was too small. So let's go back to that. Because if you look at the picture we, we chose, the dimensions are 700 by 394. You need pixels. You need numbers that are four, at least four digits. Okay, you need four digits. So what I'm going to do to save some time is I'm just going to go back over here to upload, upload a photo, and I'm going to come down, and I got a bunch of other ones that, um, that we could use. And the whole idea is it's a change of scenery, and it gives people a reason or an opportunity to say to you, man, I love that cover, where is that? Or what, where is that? And that becomes a terrific conversation starter for you. I'm trying to get to, I think I need to clean this out. Um, and what you can do is you can save things to a desktop. You just need to, every once in a while, go in and clean it up. We've got a couple of huh, friends and coaching folks that are there. So come on, come on. Let's see if I can stretch it. Oh, there you go. And so now, now that we're making ourselves more appealing to uh, a fitness instructor, so you don't have to be a fitness instructor. You don't have to be in that field to talk to a fitness instructor. As a matter of fact, you are one successful, uh, oh, you know what we can do? Let's, do? let's go with this one. Now, this is a, kind of along the same theme as the other one. Only this is Australian. Okay. Uh, now we had this up for a while. This is going to be in your. This is going to be in your uh, cover photo, but we're going to do another one. It, I want to. I want a, I want a uh, radical. That, that one's too close. To yeah. the. To, that one's too close to the other one. So now that I've got this opened up a little bit, we should be able to get to some better pictures quicker. Okay. And, and so. Well, we we can move on, Max. I I, I think I've seen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let, let me let me let here. Let's let's do. Let's just do. Just just get something up there. Okay. That, that's a nice change. That's beautiful. Or yeah. or you can go in and change it. Okay. So now we want to search. All right. Keywords to make sure that it works. What is the biggest city uh, next to you? Where what's the biggest city close to you? Uh, Cleveland. Okay. So first. <clears throat> We want to check to make sure the searches are working, and we're going to go with people who live in Cleveland. It's the easiest way to see if it's working, and because uh, sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it's not going to work. And you have, to, believe it or not, because we're working with two two different systems, you got two choices. You got two ways to do this. The first way 
is to scroll down here and we used to have to look for that little circle with the magnifying glass but it's not there it's not there and um let's see so what we're going to do here is, is we're just going to we're going to click on this anyway we're clicking on the drop down and here you've got people who live in cleveland so what did we do we typed it in brought something down and clicked on the drop down now a lot of times people don't do that they just go over here people who live in cleveland and they click okay you don't click on the, uh, the drop down gets very very specific so now we've got people who live in cleveland now i'm just going to stay in cleveland and let's just click down here and we you got lots of people that you could possibly talk to now because all because your searching parameter is just cleveland okay on that profile on that you know it, profile is nothing but a, a digits and information that's in a particular place so you're basically going in and you're searching the database for people who have filled in Cleveland Ohio what we want to do is we want to add some words to this so that we could find let's say men who live in Cleveland women who live in Cleveland uh, people who live in men who live in Cleveland and like fitness or uh, uh, women who live in Cleveland and are Zumba instructors you can break it down so the first thing we know it's working now we could go with people who live in Cleveland Ohio uh, who like Zumba now Zumba is a form of fitness are you familiar with it yes yes okay so we got here we got a drop down people who live in cleveland ohio who like zumba now you're going to notice you've got two of them you've got one that's bold and you've got one that's um not bold and so typically what i find is the bold one is always the one that works but sometimes not so we're going <laughs> to so we're going to click on the lower one first and we didn't get anything so now we're going to come back up here and we're going to click on that bold one and we didn't get anything either we'll click up here on people so we do it the other way we do people who like zumba and live in Cleveland, Ohio. All right. And so we're going to go down here. We're going to click on it. And today we're not getting it. So we have to work within the realm of, let's see, people who like fitness. Hold on a second. <laughs> now, when you're using, you know, while while Facebook is straightening straight straightening all this out, okay? So we can go up with people who like fitness. Come down here, click on this. Now again, we've got it here. Now they're they're rebuilding everything. So um, now some of these people, as you scroll down here, some of these people are going to like fitness, and some of them are going to be fitness instructors, or some of these people are going to have different positions. Now. Whatever search you do, we're going to get past the keyword part. That, that's trial and error. You put it in, you find something. And then when you find something that works, write it down. Now, the next thing, that, the next part of this is, all right, we've got people. And now we want to go down this list. Now, none of these people are your friend. Now, none of these people are your friend. However, you have a lot of mutual friends. 
And you'll notice, well, David Moses is their friend, and this person's probably in your company. Mm -hmm. So as we scroll down here, again, why are these people coming up? These people are coming up out of all the people that are in Cleveland. These people are coming up because you either have mutual friends or there's something else on your page. Maybe it's because you're from Ohio. Maybe it's because, you know, uh, somewhere on your page you, you've checked off a box that they've checked off. Maybe you like the same book. Maybe you like the same movies, whatever it is. They add up all of the boxes and, and the people that come up, typically the first group are going to be your friends. The next group are going to be people who are not your friends, but you got lots of mutual friends. And, and now don't be intimidated. You know, you're looking at somebody and say, well, wait a minute, here's somebody. She likes fitness. She's got all these people here, including David Moses. So there's a high probability she's already in my company. And you might be right. Or on the other hand, it could be that everybody in your company would like to have her in your business. So there, there's basically two ways to look at it. And so what you want to do is you want to make the most out of your time searching for people. All right. And and we're, we're scrolling down this list first. Now, this person is a chief executive officer at NetGroup. We're looking for fitness instructors. Now, people who like fitness. And so we're scrolling down. OK, you, you know, we're, there, this person is uh, likes fitness. She's uh, looks like she's a pharmacist. Pharmacist. Uh, you got six mutual friends. Chris Estes. Well, he's in your company too. So let's go down a little bit further. Let's let's just go down because I mean you got everybody. Now here is somebody, Jennifer. She likes fitness. Again, you've got mutual friends. Um, sometimes we have to scroll down a little bit. Okay, now here we go. Here we've got somebody that's a fitness instructor, and of course, Patty Patty Anderson. Um, is is her friend, but just because they're friends doesn't mean people have ever talked to these folks. Now, how do you get away from all of this? Because we're coming down, here we go, we got somebody that's, that's, now we're getting into an area where, for one reason or another, okay, here's one, she's an executive for network marketing. She likes fitness, all right? Well, you're a network marketer. You're a professional. She's an exec, uh, Alexis, oh no, she's, she's uh, one of the top earners in, um, uh, in another company, Isogenics. So, I mean, it's, it's, you look at these people, you can see who these people are. Now, let's say, for example, um, let's, let's, take, um, let, let's take her down here, okay? Or, okay, I like this one even better general manager at a powerhouse gym. So you take your mouse, you put it over her face or the name and you, you open it up in another, in another window. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to look. Now this person's another owner, okay? An owner. And, and really, that's what you'd like to find. You'd like to find somebody that's got a large circle of influence. This person over here is a realtor. And so we're going to take, now here you go, this person's a veterinarian. Now, we were looking for people like fitness, and, and uh, we'll do one more. I see you up in your company. So we scroll down here, and we're just looking at, remember, remember, we've got, I, I mean, it's like bottomless. Okay? Now, sometimes you might say, you know what? You know, this person, we've got a bunch of mutual friends. Let me just, oh, it doesn't hurt to look as long as we don't look for more than a minute. Okay, that, that's where you want to really maximize your time. Now, what Facebook is doing is notice I just put my mouse over things and all of a sudden it's opening up all kinds of things. So um, all we want to do is focus on the five people that we clicked on. All right. So now we want to take a look at the first one. And very, very quickly, we want to decide, is this person an eager socializer? Is this somebody that we would want to reach out to. First, she's got a follow me button. Big check. Second, you come down here and you see the last time she posted something was March of this year, two days ago. So she's active. Next thing we do is we look over here, general manager at Powerhouse Gym. 
single mother of two amazing kids. Now, we're going to scroll down just for a second and we want to see if there's something on her page that we could say, hey, I genuinely like this. I mean, this is something that I can recommend. Uh, so she's got some interesting posts, maybe. Remember, what? We're, oh, she's got a cat. She's got a cat. So, if we were going to identify her hot button, certainly it would be the cat. If we were going to, all right. So, she's using this socially, socially. And it looks to me like there's some, you know, it's a fabulous picture. Uh, it Maybe it reminds you of somebody. We go over here. Again, the clock is ticking. We're thinking, how, how would we reach out to somebody? She, she manages a gym. Okay, she manages a gym. We're looking down here. What do we? What can we see that we can relate to? Maybe she. We, maybe she went to our school. We click on a couple of links. There's nothing here. We shouldn't be surprised. Okay, no relationship. Now we don't want her to think like we're you know one of those single men that's hitting on her. So we can look here and we could see she's been in fitness for a long time. Okay. It's been fitness a long time. This is the type of a person that you would love to talk to about the business. Now, now this is where um, this is where we we're, we're, we're going to reach out to her. But remember this: as you're starting this, this woman has been in fitness for what 14 years. She knows all about network marketing. She's been, you know, if she hasn't been in a couple of companies, at least she's been slammed with, uh, you know, offers, and she still gets slammed today. So we're not trying to, you're looking for a particular, you're looking for somebody that really gets it. You know, you don't know what her experience is in the past. She's got two kids. Looks like she might be a single parent. And so you're going to be different when you reach out to her. You're going to be you. And uh, um, do, uh, do, do you have any young, did you, do you have any kids? Oh yeah, yeah. How how many uh, how many kids you have? I have three kids and. Okay, now how uh, and how old are they now? Oh, uh, they're thirty to twenty six. Okay. Thirty to thirty. 26. Okay. So now these are probably her kids. Her hot button. You'll get further with the kids than with the cat. Okay. Um. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our little. Where's our little? Um. Whoops. That's my crazy schedule for today. Um, let me come over here and let's open up our our little um, scripts book. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send the same message. We're going to send the same message to a bunch of people that are into fitness. And we're going to be really, you know, selective. We're going to have a real, this isn't just a click on the link. This is somebody we're thinking... <clears throat> She's sharp. She's ambitious. Now, the thing is, maybe she's... And we know she knows something about network marketing. We know it. She may even be in it. And But what you want to do is... This This is... This is... Um, this is a warm market. Let me go to cold market. So, what we're going to do here is we're thinking, okay, what are we going to say to this person? Uh, here, here we go. What are we going to say? Well, we want to find, remember, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to find people that have a need. Now, we know that fitness instructors get into this business because of, uh, you know, they, they don't have any kind of residual income. So here, this, this, is, this is the one. This could be a friend request. Now, we could even say, use the referral thing maybe. Now, we're going to copy that. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to come back to her. And first what we're going to do is we're going to send her a message. We do the message before we send the friend request because what that's, that ensures that we know we sent her a message. Now if she turns us down, let's pop that in there, but we have to edit it. So we're going to go, hi, hi Maria. Your page just came up on my Facebook as someone I should like to know. Um, and we could say, after looking at it, and some of 
sum of the posts. You like cats? Yeah. Okay. And after looking at it in some of the posts of your cat, okay, we're going to personalize it a little bit. I'd have to agree. And we want to be genuine. Now, um, now, perhaps it came up because we're both into fitness. Who knows why Facebook does those things? Uh, and we can go, uh, uh, we could also throw something in here and we could say, now we're going to add right after the cats, your kids look amazing on the cover. I have three. I have three. I have three. Uh, okay, I'm not going to get an eight. Perhaps it came up because we're both in the fitness. Who knows what? I'm on Facebook to meet like minded, positive people and hope you feel the same way. Let's connect as friends, share a few laughs. Now, the referrals part isn't going to work. So we're going to pop that out. And we're going to send it. Now, we sent this, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add her as a friend. And so now what we're going to do is let's go to the next person. This this took longer than it had to because we're, I'm, I'm kind of going over it with you. Now we go to the next one. He's got a follow me button. Uh, he posted something 19 mm -hmm. hours ago. So again, recent. We come down here. Uh, we're trying to find something that we like. So here he's posting things that are motivational. He's posting things that you would expect a fitness instructor to post. Uh, so now what we, and, and so now let's read about him. And we've got his websites. Now you know more about Facebook than he does. All right. You know that he, right now he's invisible. If he listed where he went to school, he'd be visible to more people. You start to see people, oh man, okay, he's, he's got this down, but let's look at contact information. Nobody on Facebook is going to wish him a happy birthday unless he makes it public. Why would he want to do that? Well, because, I mean, why is he on Facebook? That would be the question. Why? He's clearly, this is why. He's got his website and he's got his blog. Let's look at his website. Now, this is something that you, you're going to train yourself to do in less than a minute, okay? Less than a minute. You're looking for things that are left out and uh, maybe his website doesn't come up. Um, we're thinking, so here he's got his blog. He, he's clearly on here trying to market and trying to sell things, okay? That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to sell things. So now... So, so this is the kind of guy that you'd like to talk to. So we come back. Let's, let's look at details about Mark. Okay. All right. Hits things with wood, builds things with iron, creates themes with lead and whatever else. Okay. Now, at some point in time, you have to say, you know, is this someone that I would want to talk to? All right. If I was going to send him a friend request, and why would I do it? Well, because if we go over here to work in education, it's a, he owns, uh, he's an owner, and he owns more play. So he owns a fitness place. That is enough. Okay. So we're going to reach out to this guy, and depending upon how long he's had this, how long has he had this business, uh, we're going to we want to find out if he's interested in making some extra income. Has he ever been in network marketing? Does he have, um, um, you're not going to know until you have a conversation that takes less than three minutes. So your page came up on Facebook, someone I should like to know. And after looking at it, and we're going to stop there, I'd have to agree because he really doesn't have that much. 
So at that particular point in time, we're going to let him figure it out. And we're just going to go to who knows why Facebook does things, okay? I'm on Facebook to be like-minded, positive people. Let's connect as friends, share a few laughs. Now, the referrals thing, uh, we, might, we might leave that in. We might leave that in. So we're going to pop that over, and then we're going to add him as a friend. Now, uh, we're gonna, so now we're going to go down to the next one. And all right, the world becomes a better place. She's in the fitness. Uh, doesn't have a follow me button, but if we come over here, was active about maybe a week ago. All right, but active. If we came up here and we saw, if we saw a uh, uh, two thousand and fifteen. We would say, no, 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 no. And over here, we can see they're a broker. And they're in real estate. And they're with the horses, with, with homes, homes with horses teams. So this would be easy. We come over here, we write the message. And the referrals thing would work there too. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go, hi, your page came up on Facebook, someone I should like to know. After looking at your cover, your cover, and what you do. Now, who knows why? Who knows why? Um, well, we know, but we're doing it all the time. We're, we're clicking on things, we're looking at things, and all of a sudden, you know, everywhere around you, you're being prompted to, uh, now, we, we just have to clean up, get rid of this. Who knows why Facebook does things? Oops. Now, this whole process, th this is like we're planting seeds, okay? We're planting seeds. We're, we're doing the best we can to identify people that are eager socializers, we're, and then we're going to add, as a, add them as a friend. Now, the amazing thing that you're going to find is when you do this, how quickly people react and people respond to this. You might want to just, let's just click on this, get rid of the, just open this up so that now, if anything new comes in, you, you're going to see it. But we don't want to click on everybody. And here's, okay, this is somebody that's into horses. And we, we come over here and we look at who your mutual friends are. Um, this is probably somebody you know? Yeah, that'd be my sister-in-law. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, we'll go over to the next one. Uh, but if you, hey, this is your sister-in-law. You, when was the last time you talked to your sister-in-law? Say again? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, oh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, okay. Now, remember, your sister-in-law has friends. Any reason why you wouldn't want to be connected to her on Facebook? Uh, no, no. She, okay. She goes, okay, well, you never you know. You go overboard and some of this animal rescue stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, you can just kind of, yeah, I know. Uh, you'll get about somebody's abandoned dog and all that. Okay, well, remember, okay, it, it's basically your call. I'm, I'm, basically your call. Now we go over here to the next one. So we're looking, the last, again, follow me button. The question is, what does she do? As you look at the, these people are spending a lot of time. What does she do? That's the question. And we come over here. You got a couple of mutual friends. When you, click, when you see somebody's page has vacancies, depending upon what, she, or, you know, her settings are off. So if she's trying to market, if she's trying to sell things on here, She's on a, okay, she's on a life journey to improve her health. She's passionate about helping others. Sounds like an, she's a network marketer. Now, the, que the question is, is she in your company or is she in another company? You know, that's the question. So all you're doing is you are looking at these and you don't want to spend more, more than three minutes. You don't want to spend more than three minutes. In other words, three minutes on a person. So in 15 minutes, you should be able to make connections with five people okay and we really want to be selective we want to find people that we did we did here we did people like fitness we could go up here and we could say you know what people 
uh, who live in Atlanta. All right, now here is where it really gets interesting. Because what you can do is you can go over to LinkedIn and we can go up here and we can do a search and we could say, show me all of the people who like fitness. Or we could say, you know what? Let's really narrow it down. Fitness instructors. Okay? So we're going to go pe people with the title fitness instructor. Now you're just getting started here. You're just, you're, so there's 61... 1,333 fitness instructors that you can connect with on LinkedIn even before you really start tearing it up on here. And so what you can do is you can say, you know, out of this 61,000, let's say I wanted to find them in Cleveland. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say Cleveland. And I've got Cleveland, Akron, Ohio area. So that's where we're going to go. And so now you have um, 300, wait a minute. Okay, they're telling you you have 341. And uh, ju just to put everything in perspective, because you're, you haven't even started on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this over. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to type in fitness instructor. And what happens is you can bring them up on LinkedIn. You find them on LinkedIn. And then you connect with them on Facebook. So it's an extra step that, let's see, Cleveland... So I have 497, but you know what? Forget Cleveland. No offense, but let, let, let's go to, uh, you know, I mean, let, 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 let's go where you'll be appreciated, all right? Let's go to Dallas, okay? I mean, you got the hat. So let's go to Dallas. And now there's 1,100 fitness instructors. Now, in Dallas, and every one of you can find these people on Facebook. The other thing that you can do, the other thing that you can do is, by the way, whenever you come across someone on LinkedIn and the only way you think you can connect with them is to send them an in-mail, which is what you have to pay for, go over here, open up their page, bring their page up all by itself. Now show you a shortcut. We hope that the new LinkedIn has left it in. Um, okay, so here you go to you actually go to the page, and this is where you got the connect button. So there's virtually nobody that you can't connect with on on LinkedIn. Now we come back over here, and we could just let let's just take and see. Let's just type in fitness. Anybody that's interested in fitness, people with the skills. Uh, uh, Okay, people with the people with fitness skills, and uh, there's fifty there's there's five million five hundred and forty four thousand people that you could break down by city, and then what you can do is you can find them on Facebook. So, um, but but it's all about it's all about making that connection, okay, and. Um, um, when you're searching on Facebook, it's it's a, it's a different story. And what we have to do is we have to develop uh, that search, that that um, uh, the keyword. Okay, so it could be fitness. It could be, you know, let's say uh, uh, people who like horses could be one. Now, when we do that, we're always looking for people that now come down to the drop down button people like horses well 
What word would you use for specific business builders? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, 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 you know, see, when you say a business builder, a, bu a business builder is somebody that is ambitious, somebody that's going to be passionate about your products, somebody that wants to uh, clearly use the products, become product of the product, but that's going to go out there and tell everybody about it. That's a business builder. And, and, you know, historically, what a company, the, the, the way companies have done it is you get somebody on the products, they get excited, they get results, they're happy, and then they realize, oh, you know what, I can, I, you, are you telling me I could recommend this to people and get paid for it? I mean, I would recommend it to people for free. I love this thing. I mean, I lost 40 pounds. I, I, I feel younger. Whatever, whatever reason, you, you get them, they're passionate. You know, a business builder, uh, on the other hand, could be somebody that you're going to bring into the business because they're looking to generate some income. Maybe they want part-time income. Maybe they're looking to retire. But anybody that you bring into your business has got to be passionate about the product. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, you can't be passionate about something that you don't love, or, or, or especially in that profession, if, if it's not working, and if they don't see, you know, the benefit. So when we, when we talk about business builder, Yes, we can, we can find people all the time that clearly are ambitious, and I don't know why this isn't coming up. We could always find people that are ambitious. The question is, uh, what are they looking for? What's gonna make them happy? There are some people that are desperate. There are some people that are phenomenal in sales. Let's, let's, look, let's look at that. People who like sales. Okay, now they're giving us people who like Salesforce. Um, well, here let's just let's do the first drop down button. Okay, now these are all people who like sales. Now you you scroll down here and you got all kinds of people that like sales. Well, two of them are your favorite people. <laughs> okay, yeah. but but now but so, so now people like sales. Now the question, of course, is what do they do? What do they do? Now, now I can tell you, I'm looking, I'm looking at, there's a lot of million dollar network marketing earners. Okay. A lot of them. And, uh, but you know, that's, you know, that's one of the ways, you know, to do it. You go up here, people who like Tony Robbins, people who like Zig Ziglar, people who like the secret. And now we're going down and we're looking to see, okay, who are these people? What do they do? Now this person's a warehouse worker. Okay. Um, you, you're looking at people, and, and listen, anytime you see somebody that's a global internet entrepreneur, they read one of my books. So, okay. okay? So, so um, there's all kinds of people here, and you don't want to spend more than three minutes looking at, looking these people up, and, and uh, you know, so she works with Jim, she works with Susan Ray, okay? So what does she do? Tick, tick, tick. We go over here, we bring up her page, Tick, tick, tick. She's got a follow me button. She posted something two hours ago. She's inspiring people to dream and achieve. She's a network marketer. She's selling something. She's selling something. The question is what? The question is what? And, and so you want to find something that passion that you can say, hey, this is, uh, you know, this is somebody. I mean, we could stop here. I mean, she's a, clearly a candidate for your business, but she's got a picture with Eric Worre. She's got a picture with some kind of a group. You know, she's a network marketer. Does that mean that she's happy? Does that mean that, um, uh, so reaching out to somebody like this, see, now you know more than her. You're looking at these empty spaces on her page. She's a network marketer, she's your competition. And you could see exactly what she's selling and it doesn't look like this page is working. You know, people always ask, how do I know if the, I'm, I'm looking at an unhappy network marketer? When you click on their Avon link or you click on whatever link uh, for their company is there and it comes up and it's, you know, it's one of the blank ones that says, you know, that person is no longer connected with the company or they haven't paid their thing. So again, we're looking here at basic information. Now, the question, of course, is what does she do? Do you want to travel and have income? So I clicked on the ad and found a new way of life, loving what I do. Okay, so what do you do? What does she sell? How long has she been doing it? 
There are all kinds of people out there that are in network marketing. Some of them are happy, some of them are successful, some of them are not. Some of them will tell you right away, some of them, you know, will tell you the second or the third time you talk to them. So, you know, it's all about being genuine, being sincere. Uh, hey, I saw your page. I see you're another network, you appear to be a network marketer. Um, the first question that you want to ask her is, I, you know, that first question, what do you do? What do you do? And when she comes back, she'll tell you, I'm a network marketer. Really? What company are you with? And that's the way these, uh, you know, these things go. So did this help you a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I got another question. This is dark. How can I find, uh, okay. If I was to get a, a computer tutor, if you will, mm -hmm. what skills do I have to, I, I don't know the skill, I don't know the question to ask to become proficient in operating this darn computer. Um, operating the computer. Um, yeah, like, example, you know, you're, you're copying and pasting, uh, and, and even, even your, I end up going, erasing everything and going back to the complete beginning so frequently it's ridiculous okay uh, uh, you know how, how you like and I know that uh, the other time we had a one-on-one -on -one session you saved a bunch of photos for me to uh, uh, put online uh, supposed to go automatic well I can't even find the darn thing okay all right uh, you know skills like that uh, you know if I was to find a tutor uh, what skills would I tell them that I need to learn? Well, um, you know, what skills would you need to learn? Well, for one thing, I'm teaching you the most important skill. Um, yeah. from, from, from the standpoint of, you know, what you really are looking for is you're looking for somebody to show you what, you know, how can I make this work better? I mean, you, you, you don't need to create websites or, or, or do any of that other stuff. I mean, everything that you really want to know how to do you're done you're doing on Facebook and you're doing on LinkedIn and as far as the technical stuff is you know hey listen I'll show you I, I mean how do I use this where did I Max where did you put those pictures okay you gave me some pictures you put them up and so we go uh, Bob they're over here in your photos we click on photos don't be afraid to click on stuff okay it, you're, you can't hurt it okay you can't hurt it yes you you're not gonna be the first person that wrote something and then thought you saved it, and it didn't save. Now, sometimes, believe it or not, it's your fault, and sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes the social network has a glitch in it, and it breaks up. So one of the things you learn after, you learn after a while is when you're working on something, and you're not done, but it's really neat, it's really good, you might want to save it someplace. And, and do you know how to copy and paste? Uh uh, yes, to some degree. Okay, well, that's uh, it. That Listen, that's it, to some degree. You're going to get better at copying and pasting the more you do it. I mean, it's like it's like anything else. It, it's, you know, everybody, you know, you've got the basics. You've got all, you know, unless you want to, you know, know anybody that you would pay to come in here and show you, oh, this, 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 and this. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You mean this is where... This is where this is where my favorite TVs are. This is where my movies are. This is this this is where it is. The and because I could show it to you tomorrow, and in two weeks Facebook is going to change it. I mean, I'm giving you, you know, the basics on what you need and everything else. It's it's man, it's Bob. It's going to be trial and error. It's going to yeah. be yeah. How to get things from uh, your tutorials? And, you know, like, a, like right now I, I'm using uh, the boot camp, you know, uh, okay. you know, getting started and all that stuff. And then the scripts and so on, uh, I, you know, I, the I first time I did this, I printed everything on paper. I okay. printed the whole thing. Well, that's really tedious. Right. Uh, and I, I want to go be able to go. Okay. Uh, here's, here, here, here's, here's what I'm, here's, Bob, here's what we're going to do. In our, ne in our next session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you how to create a file. It's easier than you think, and we're actually going to create the file. We're going to take all of the scripts that you are going to use. You'll know if I if I want to go back and I want to do another one. You, you'll be able to adjust any of these, and we'll save them in a place where you know. I I'm, anytime I'm talking to somebody, if I want to go, just like you saw me bring them up, I go over here, I pull it out, or believe it or not, there's an easier way. You see, when you're talking to people on a regular basis, 
what you can always do, and sometimes I find it to be faster, is you go back to your message history. You go back to your messages, okay? And you say, you know what? Let, you know, oh, two weeks ago, I sent Darla a message. I'm just going to go down here. I'm just going to copy this, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this. So it, what starts to happen is every day you're sending out five of these. Every day you're sending out ten. Then when they answer you, you you're sending out the same message, the thank you message, and then, then the third message. And so the conversation flow is all here. So you can always come back here and say, you know what, I'm, okay, I got to modify this a little bit. This could be something, but I don't want to write. I'm, I'm looking for friends, I'm, for people that I know from school. So yeah, I don't have to type all of this stuff. Your page come up on Facebook, some of us would like to know. Man, we haven't typed, you know, it's been years since we went to school. You know, it's been, you know, let, let's catch up. You, you copy that. You use it eight or ten times and it'll all be here, you know, the more active you are. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that, that, oh man, the light just went on. There you go. Well, listen, that's my job. Lights are going <laughs> to, light, lights are going to keep going on until you're going to need sunglasses, okay? Yeah, my, my, my jaw hit the table that, you know, when, when I, oh, that is so sick. Um, because I, I tried to copy and paste, um, what you sent to me on, yep. on, uh, oh. on the, and, and the whole thing, you know, you started, here's what you need to do. Well, the whole thing, uh, <laughs> the whole thing copied, and I, I realized I had sent the whole darn thing out to one. Uh, I tracked it down and did, did, did delete it, but then I lost that whole contact. I lost her and everything. So right. I, I, well, the good news is you've got a hundred million people, uh, billions okay. of people out there. To, to do this with and and so this is a big aha moment for you and you you know you're gonna have aha moments three or four times a week well but just remember this that your incentive for doing this is you're going out and you're looking to meet people your incentive is that tomorrow or the next day you could end up meeting somebody who is going to be the biggest distributor in your company and she's gonna get into or she or he is gonna get into business with you because they like you because you know you share a common interest and because listen once you make, once you understand what they need, you know, you're connected, you know, you're going to, you're going to get them in front of, uh, 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 Patty Anderson. You're going to get them in front of David Moses. You know, uh, you can get them in front of, uh, Ryan, uh, uh, and, 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 you know, so the whole idea is you got help when you run into somebody that, that, uh, needs that kind of attention, they're available to you. In the meantime, you're out there making friends, you're talking to people and, and you're, you're going to discover by asking one or two simple questions, whether or not the person on the other end has a need that you know you can help them fill, and so the searches you're going to get better. And remember that for the most part, these searches um, they're going to change. Facebook is messing around with them, uh, but we'll help you get through that mess until you know it, it gets a little bit clearer. The, and I you know I just realized this was supposed to be an AS Max session, and uh, we took up the whole session. How about that? Um, yeah, I, I well, that. well, that was yeah. fun. Listen, did, you, did, did it help? Did, did it help anybody else? Was anybody else watching this? That uh, we'll take a look. Anyway, Bob, I've got to go. Uh, I, I'm glad we could help you. And we, I, man, that I, I heard it. I love it when I hear it. That big aha moment, the joy drops. So have fun with this, and I'll talk to you next time. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. And for everybody else that's here, I apologize. Uh, maybe some of you. Could, could have grabbed some of that information from the standpoint of um, of uh, making the connection and uh, bah, bah, bah. Um, and what we're gonna start doing we're gonna start posting these things up on uh, up on YouTube to our YouTube channel everything is changing and guys you got to be prepared to change too so until next time best of luck in building your business God bless uh, we'll do a regular session at uh, at one o'clock take care